Hi everybody, welcome to our program. Already in progress. Not really. Um, I do have some stuff going on. We're just going to do a shepherd's pie. And, uh, you know, I try to always put on some good music that sort of goes with what I'm making. So shepherd's pie is British, traditionally. So I was thinking, uh, what, what British artist do I have? And of course I couldn't think of anything. Madonna was the closest I could come. What are you going to do? Um, let's show you what I've got working on the stove top. On the back pot, don't worry about that. That's a pot of chicken noodle soup I'm making for a sick friend. Okay, but over here, I've got uh, four little russet potatoes that have been cut up and diced, and they're just in water, and that burner's on. Now on this bad boy, I've got half of a ginormous white onion. Actually, I think it's a quarter of it. And I diced that up in my food processor, a big tablespoon of garlic. That's all that's in there right now. And then back here, what does that look like? It's going to be a sauce. It's one beef bouillon cube, a, a tablespoon of flour, and a tablespoon of butter. So far, so good. I'm going to get this front burner on. And we're going to get our beef uh, right in there. We're going to get right to it. Now, you know, I'm big on this dough thing now. Now that I can make dough, which is so odd for me to be able to make dough. I'm not a baker. All right, I've got this pound of ground beef. Sorry, it's in a baggie in the sink. That sounds really, like, shady. Right next to my crack. Okay, okay. Some pretty ground beef. Okay, put it straight in the burner. Let me just get my hands a washi, and then you'll come down and see what I'm doing. Cool? Anyway, I'm big on this dough. Ever since I learned how to make it, I think I'm, like, the coolest thing in the world. So, my mind goes to... Literally, all I do is sit around and go, what can I make? What can I make? It is the lamest life ever. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're listening to the song stylings of Madonna, or Madge, as I call her. Uh, and Ray of Light is the CD. So, come on down. Let's get you as close as you can without getting you greasy. Okay, ground beef. I need my wooden spatula. I always use wooden for ground beef. I don't really know why. Uh, so, there's just the garlic, the onion, and the beef. I'm going to do a buttload of blackened seasoning. By buttload, that's about a tablespoon. I'm going to do, I'm going to do the poor variety. Uh, about a tablespoon of the black pepper. And then I'm going to do about a tablespoon of dry Worcestershire. Okay. And, we're going to do, that one's too nice. We're going to do just a roundy of uh, red wine. Calm it all down. Let's just get all those things integrated and just let this cook away. I'm just going to cook it down. It's going to have a nice, robust sort of flavor. Um, this is surprisingly simple. But you could definitely do big chunks of onion if you wanted. Um, a, I didn't have the patience to chop it all up because that onion was huge. And B, uh, I like when my ground beef has the flavor of onion, but doesn't have, uh, in certain dishes, doesn't have, you know, the ginormous crunch of onion. Cool, so shepherd's pie is traditionally, actually I don't even know what it is traditionally, but it's a pie, and it's got ground beef, and mashed perturbus, and uh, corn. I always think of like the KFC, um, those bowls, you know, that the KFC makes, the whatever bowls. Yeah, I always think of those because it's like chicken, and mashed potatoes, and corn and cheese. So that's what we're doing, but we're gonna sort of refine it a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know if refine is the right word. I don't know that I'm that classy, but that's what we're gonna attempt at least. All right, let me get my whisk and my back burner on. Cool. I got a whisk. And we're just going to melt this butter and flour together. Now I've already got my dough made, and I just did it uh, like I've done it the other couple times. Um, which, if you have not watched those episodes, first of all, for shame on you. But second of all, it's just uh, about a cup and a quarter of flour. It is uh, one full stick of butter cubed up, and you mix all that together, knead it together. Every time I say the word need, I want to cry. I really should uh, go back to my therapist. Um, kidding. I still see it. 
Um, okay, anyway, you knead it together, add some seasonings if you want, depending on what you're making. God, it's really hot, like, if I had, um, arm hair, they'd be singing off right now. <laughs> I don't have arm hair. I was blessed with you, Eternal, uh, prepubescent you. Okay. Real quick, let me just get a little thingy I can pour it to that. I was gonna do some water. It's just beef bouillon. Ow. Ow. Seriously, why is it so hot back there? Let me turn that burner down a little bit. Left rear, let's go down to four. Let's go down to three. Okay, left rear, eat that. Okay, I'm gonna give some of these flavors uh, the worst this year, but I'm gonna do wet. Um, about a tablespoon of wet Worcestershire going in there. And then we're going to do some black pepper. I'd say probably about a teaspoon. A couple shakes, however much you want to put. I try not to do salt in my dishes. I try to do flavored salts like blackened or Cajun or something along those lines. Alright, super cool. Let me just give my potatoes a poke over here. Make sure they're all getting coated. Nice. And let me give my, uh, seriously, I, my arm is like burnt to a crisp now. Let me just give this a stir. Chicken noodle soup for the sick. I'm so helpful. Okay, see all this stuff working? There's not much we can do here. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let my uh, potatoes boil away. Okay? I'm going to uh, let my roux, my sauce, I'm going to let that thicken up a bit. It doesn't need to be too thick, because you're just going to kind of pour it in layers so there's a hint of it throughout. And then I'm going to let this beef boil. I'm going to let the uh, red wine, the juice from the beef, I'm going to let that all boil down to nothing, so that we're just left with some brown beef that's really tasty and flavorful. Um, that's all I'm going to be doing, and maybe making myself a cappuccino. Okay? So why don't you uh, come back in a few, and, oh, by the way, in case you want to get this ready, I've got one can of uh, corn. Uh, you could use fresh, but yeah. just go ahead and get a can. It's like 60 cents. Um, I drained it, and then I have it in a pink reserve bowl. Oh, and FYI, pink is not necessarily my favorite color. It is my statement color, but I do like uh, the bright blue. Just saying. Okay, I'll be back in a few. Go get some Madonna, so that when you come back, or when I come back, when we get back together, we can jam out. Okay. Soon. Hey, welcome back. So, um, my beef, look how brown and pretty it is. Can't really see, can you? Yeah? Alright, it's just hanging out. I've got my gravy. I don't have a gravy boat. Mmm, but it's in here. Now, I did add about a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese and about a quarter cup of milk to that uh, while you weren't looking. So, add that if you want. Now I've got my potatoes all uh, strained out, okay, and uh, they're ready to go. So I just got to get my masher, and I've got some stuff to get this going on. Okay, I've got my masher. My chicken noodle soup's almost done too, but you don't need to worry about that. Um, this is about two tablespoons of butter I'm going to put in with my potatoes. Come on down so you can see. Yeah, buenas, buenas. Uh, wouldn't be mashed potatoes of mine without some garlic. I've got a tablespoon of garlic in there. Cool so far. I've got the sour cream. Give it a stir. And I've got one, two tablespoons of sour cream. Okay. So far, so good. I'm going to do a juice. So, how much is that? Um, cream cheese. I'm going to do it in little pieces so it'll actually melt in there. We want these potatoes real creamy, okay? Um, what is that? Looks like four teaspoons, how about that, of cream cheese, okay? Does that sound buenas to you? It sounds buenas to me. Let's get some parm in there and let's get mashing. Quarter cup parm, okay? And black pepper. Pour it in there. Get crazy. Uh, about a tablespoon of black pepper. I promise you. This stuff is not as potent as it seems. Let me just give this a stir. 
turn that off in just a second. It's going to be yummy. Okay. Let's mash these and just, uh, then we just have to roll out our dough. Yeah? And then assemble them into pies. Into you need pies. Oh, God, I love the smell of pepper. Uh, you know, the potatoes, though, you don't have to follow my recipe, clearly. Do whatever you want. Put whatever seasonings you want in them. As long as you have mashed potatoes, or else you're not going to be able to have a very good uh, shepherd's pie. And, you know, I think it's just as fast and easy to have homemade, from scratch, mashed potatoes um, as it is to have the kind that you buy out of a box, the Instamash. And actually, I think if you did the math, it's probably cheaper. But I get a five-pound bag of potatoes for uh, $2.99, so for $3. And I can make this portion, I don't know, like 10 times out of that. Uh, and then, you know, you buy the Instamash, and it's how much for a box? I don't know. You do the math. That's not my department. All right. Yummy. Yummy. And I always, always leave the skins on, but if you are opposed to it, you know, it's half out of laziness. Truly. I just don't feel like sitting there peeling potatoes all the time. But I am told that it's, you know, the skins are very nutritious, so at least I can pretend that I care. All right. I hate this masher, by the way. A roller really hard up. Let's just get these done off to the side, and then let's get our rolled our dough rolled out. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do. Let me put you on pause real quick so I can just kind of move all this stuff out of the way and uh, get my surface floured here so I can get my dough rolled out. And uh, then we're gonna assemble these puppies and put them in the oven. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, I'll be back in just a few. Don't go anywhere.